All right, we're uh, continue to make progress here. Um, last, uh, let's see, we moved the gas tank. Uh, we have supported the rear end. We've got the weight hanging uh, loosely so we can gain some room there. And also, uh, so now we had to support the engine, which I did with this engine hoist. And as you can see, she is separating. So the weight back here is uh, being held. Weight here is being held. It's on the wheels. She's moving forward. It's just that uh, before I started to get too far, I um, installed uh, these long bolts so I can slide it out and keep it aligned. I am working by myself here, so I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. The only other issue is this uh, steering. I took the bolts out of that, but I can't seem to get the thing to move. Um, if I unbolt this here from the transmission, the bell housing, or whatever, I might have enough play in the steering to get it far enough to work with. That seems to be the only other issue. Other than that, all the other wires and things have uh, disconnected fairly easy. That seems to be the only issue right now. But I think there's enough play in that steering column that if I take this bracket off, it'll go straight out and give me enough to work with. And uh, that coupling, which I thought was put there for for easy removal, is obviously not. <clears throat> All right. And uh, using the engine hoist to support, I did have, you guys would have loved this thing, I had this uh, 2x6. Uh, going straight up and down with this bar, pry bar, going horizontal across the tractor like this here, the pry bar, and I was going to chain the motor to that and then, you know, of course, slide it back and forth. The only issue is uh, I couldn't, I don't have anything here to figure out how to get it up and down, and, uh, and I got an engine hoist, so it was easy to drag this out of the garage because I have to go, uh, they never finished this driveway here. It was easy to drive it out of the garage than to try to, um, um, you know, uh, lift that motor up without any kind of uh, lifting mechanism. I do have a come along, but it's too long for that section there. I was going to go try to buy a winch or something from uh, Harbor Freight, but the whole idea of this project is to keep it, um, you know, cheap. And uh, I know it's a good excuse to buy a winch, but not today. All right, let me get the rest of these bolts out and we'll take a look at this clutch. All right, took a break for a few minutes, looked online, looked at all the manuals, trying to figure out how to get that. Uh, the problem I was having was with the uh, um, steering linkage, trying to break it. Finally, I come back, took a little break, like I said, come back here and, uh, and voila, we got it apart. A little bit of tapping. We just had to use the bigger hammer little brass one didn't have much power so we didn't break anything and uh, there she comes you watching this you getting this all right can't do this and hold the camera all right pulled away clutch it out I did have to get it sorry about the wind but I did have to get um take the blocks off and pull this weight more forward needed more room than I thought um, to get at it and now I'm a little scared I uh, you know the guy told me the clutch was gone and uh, but I never even gave it a try to try to move it or never saw him try to move it and uh, pulled it apart I mean uh, I don't know if this is uh, throw up there and supposed to look like that to me it looks a little messed up but also it looks like this wasn't changed that long ago it's in pretty nice shape i mean it is a i don't know got a little bit of noise there but then um if you can see the the plate focus focus camera focus there it goes um you know what i mean it's got a, it's got something to it it's not blown up it's not uh been overheated or anything i mean we got some uh looks like slippage going on here so I'm, I'm hoping um, you know the springs got looser or maybe it's as simple as it just needed to be adjusted uh, but 
where this far out I'm not going to put it all back together without replacing it. Uh, yeah. Alright, well we're off to the shop to see what they think. Get a couple opinions and go from there. Oh, also, um, to get the uh, hoist in there and to get everything moving I had to take the exhaust off. Doesn't look like it's hitting now, but it was. Uh, of course, top one, let's see if I can get a better angle. Top one broke. The other one just came right out and threads weren't even holding. So, uh, because there's plenty of room to get right at it, I'm going to give it a try drilling it out and tapping it. It's cast. I know it sucks. Uh, if not, I did see some places online that have this whole unit. Didn't look that expensive and, uh, you know why not? But I, I want to, uh, I want to get this back together and make sure she actually moves all right. I'm starting to panic. I'm panicking that maybe there's something more bad with this. I mean, he seemed like a nice guy. Oh, he did say God bless when I left. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Either way, I will not quit now. If I have to change the rear end, we'll change the rear end. Look what I found here in Fairhaven. <sighs> I'm at a... This is the uh, tractor store here in Fairhaven. Oh, I love this kind. I don't know if you can notice it, but it did move a few feet. The uh, the uh, everything in the transmission works just fine. It uh, it's definitely the clutch. And uh, all right, so the tractor is back together and moving. I'll uh, get some more video up of it actually working and such. Um, but uh, what happened was I lost. Uh, <laughs> A lot, uh, the battery died and so I had to uh, I'm gonna stick this video in here to kind of finish up what was going on what happened was um, obviously the parts are or for whatever reason the clutch had been been engaged partially engaged for a long time which wore out the um, the pressure plate um, the people at that little tractor supply place um, there's uh, adjustment uh, bolts on the pressure plate itself on the three fingers I cranked those down all the way so that the pressure plate would have uh, the most amount of pressure push it up against the clutch up against the flywheel as possible put it back together so it was three times total and um, she runs great and I will get the video up uh, as soon as possible it's just that um, I want to get this video going so uh, I'm just giving you this little bit of how it all came about thanks <laughs>